My dad has been a big alien buff since he was a teenager. But he, it is so much. He'll tell me about the aliens and it's adorable. Especially Puma Punku. That doesn't have anything to do with Area 51. That's just more like alien. But like, he's real into it. I love Area 51. And so I'll story. God, I love Area 51 shit so man. much. Joseph Experience. On June 21st of the solar year 2019, Joe spoke to a whistleblower. Right! Bob Lazard. Now, Bob claims to have the worked CT, at the, the resub Area bomb and, Josh. and so, Joe summoned him to his... Sensory deprivation satellite, where he could ask him probing questions about the that government facility. machine that was able to read the the size of your dicks. And the yeah, huge. <laughs> View for yourself this incredible testimony. Classic or Rogan. You You used to work at Area Fifty One. When did things get weird? Well, the way this went down was I only got hands on with one of them. And I was an alien. It produced a little discharge from the bottom. It, it was exciting. You know, we turned the lights on, and all these guys are there. So what in the is this? We have, you know, actual hardware from another civilization. It's a big. Man, Area um, Fifty One sounds lit. live in a house like just swinging around on trees Absolutely. we are the sex organs of the machine world but for people who don't know let's give them the was that one even so edited what was that i'm 510 you don't seem to have any muscle you know, almost like a frame is there anything else you'd like to say well the disc the flying saucer that i worked on i saw it sitting there and i thought oh my god hey bob it's probably a good idea if you shut up <laughs> I worked underground with the aliens, and they shot my hand off. The, underground, there's bases, they're shooting lasers <laughs> through the Earth's crust, and they move up at light speed. You, you big... What? I'm not even doing anything. Drop dead. Hey, why don't you come on out to the Nevada desert? Deal. Out. All right, that's it, folks. I got to Good watch night. the whole Rogan episode. Let's go. These revelations were sent out all over the globe using beams. Absolutely free. And it started Joe Rogan edits are always going to be amazing. Inseminating the people's brains with knowledge. Who killed JFK? Flooring them with the revelation of it all. An orangutan. And Wait, is it? See. Wouldn't it be when uh, they did the raid on Area 51? That popped off for weeks. Which one of these is the Area 51 raid? Are you telling me Rogan had more influence over Area 51 searches than the actual million signatures for the raid? That's crazy. I didn't know that. A 21-year-old named Matthew Ross. Oh, hey! That's the Area 51 raid. He had heard about aliens in Area 51 before, and he believed. I really thought the raid was before the Rogan episode. But what could he do? How could he possibly get into Area 51 to check him out? If there were so many of us, thousands, so much fodder that they eventually ran out of bullets, then someone surely is gonna get through and touch the government in its special area. My yes. God. Within minutes, he was it's a good plan. a Facebook post. They can't stop all of us. I'm willing to die for the government, let's do this. On September 20th, 2019, we'll all meet up at the oh my area God, has it really almost been three years? tourist attraction and coordinate our entry. If we Naruto run, we can move faster than their bullets. Let's see them aliens. This event then goes into the ether. And from here, it was up to the Facebook algorithm gods to decide what would happen next. There's a lot here to be excited about. I think this could be very positive for our society and economy. And they began pressing the recent God the attending button. Give some Eisen. That was a big moment for our country. I really wish people had actually gone for days, it just to see what happened. 
hundreds of thousands of attendees. And so the event spread, and spread around the internet, eventually morphing into... Everyone who is something is going to raid Area 51. Young people from all over the globe are joining up to fight for the future. Nigel, a runner. No hunter, <laughs> runner. Stevens, agent. Silent, a runner. Freeman, 713. I am a sentinel. Everyone's That's from the Matrix premiere, right? Matrix Reloaded, I think. The ships. We have the weapon. Kept trying to put his gun down! We need soldiers. We need you all. It is, yeah, I thought so. And just I remember like that, that clip. The game was on. Welcome to the mission brief. Let's do a bit of background on Area 51. Secret military base, first developed in 1955. This is what it looks like on the It was developed maps. after the Roswell thing, right? It's approximately right? this big. Total area size, 51. And the volume, a big mystery. Until 1997, the government refused to even acknowledge that it existed. Yes. Until they were forced to by lawsuit. That lawsuit was about the death of two men who were former employees. And oh my god, he's sounding die? like my dad right now. Well, not aliens, but rather toxic fumes from burning garbage. Yeah, so what they would do is burn a whole bunch of cool high-tech refuse on the lot, let the deadly smoke blow downwind, and the staff was stuck breathing it in. A few years Making later, them stronger. Bing bong, cancer. Other than that, the public hasn't really been told anything. My dad, for as long as I can remember, would tell me everything he thought he knew about Area 51. And it's a lot. And I wonder how much he's gonna touch on here. And I wonder how much of it's like actually based in fact, because I never bothered to like, you know, fact check my dad back when I was a kid. Like Google was in its infancy. I'd just be like, yeah, pop, pop, you're probably right. Hey, JFK's buried there. They got the aliens over there. He's, yeah, that's probably where he's at. But if I remember correctly, Area 50, Area 51 was started after the Roswell thing where they they claim it was a spaceship that crashed but then they had disguised it or covered it up with like a weather balloon thing and then it was housed at Area 51 to study or something. Is that real or is that not true? Oh, this was way before Ancient Aliens. My dad has been a big alien buff since he was a teenager. But he, it is so much. He'll tell me about the aliens and it's adorable. Especially Puma Punku. That doesn't have anything to do with Area 51, that's just more like alien, but like, he's real into it. So if he gets kind of in-depth on Area 51, I wonder how much will either discredit everything my father told me growing up, or confirm it. Maybe my dad really has the scoop. So all people can do is speculate as to what the hell is going on in there. I think that they are keeping remnants of a UFO there. We don't know if it's yep. aliens, we don't know if it's time travel, we don't know if there's minions in there. Uh, virtual reality. Could be all of the above. So incredibly sexy. But what has been leaked is that they do test flights on new alien craft. Motherfucker, don't you tease me. Come on. Produce new alien tech. <laughs> Read the latest version of the newest gayest frog. Do not get it confused with Roswell. That's over here. Area 51's over here. And the final thing that we know is that security is top notch. They have that thing locked down. And the first thing to find out, has anyone ever tried breaking in before? Yes, actually, I do yes. know that. Several times. Yep. In fact, in January they take it 2019, very seriously. an unnamed man broke through security barriers and drove eight miles into the base. He got out of his car with a metal cylinder in his hands, and the military opened fire. He was shot dead at the scene. Yep. And there was this time I knew that. a film crew from the BBC was arrested for trying to get in. This is BBC News. This time when a vacationing family of four went off track. You get the idea. They're not messing around. Put your hands up. I'm not going to tell you again. But there's one story to top them all. And we'll disguise his identity, but he is my personal hero. The month is November. The location, Las Please Vegas. Stiff. And the protagonist, a professional limo driver. Now, he's more than a little unhinged. He decides to start harassing and sending death threats to a lawyer, whom we think was going to represent his defense for this incident. If you've ever seen this Damn! TikTok, that's our boy doing donuts and driving backwards down the Las Vegas fuck? Strip. Anyway, fast forward three weeks. It's like six in the morning, and this guy is already doing that's donuts some initial D. at a park near the airport. 
Then he decides to drive from the car park into the airport itself. A fence? No problem. He drives right through it and onto the runway. He's just driving around, whizzing between planes, almost crashing seven times well, well, before why a limo? parking on a ramp. At this point, he jumps out, puts on a clown mask, and storms right up to a private jet. He announces, aggressively, to the flight staff that there is a bomb in his limo. Quote, I have a bomb. I'm going to blow this place up. His plan? To commandeer this private jet and take it Ooh. to Area 51. This guy's a genius! However, as sound as this plan was, the quick response by police meant that it wasn't really working out. So, he bails back to his limo, tries to make an escape, until eventually police catch up with him. At that point, he is quickly arrested. They take him in for questioning, and he starts telling them, that's right, I did it to see the aliens. He also told and he them almost to did it too. him as the chosen one. And by the way, I have high security clearance. Also, I'm involved with the mob, and someone owes me millions of dollars. Later on, the you have to let him go. checks out the limo and determines that it's just a fire extinguisher with a bunch of wires and duct tape and some fairy oh. lights. Now, at some point, he gets out, what? presumably on bail. I'd love to see a and picture CNN of that. reporters walk up to him and start asking him questions. No, no statements from me, he says. But you should talk to my lawyer. And then he proceeds to hand them the business card of the lawyer that he's been sending death threats to for the last three weeks. Amazing. After all that, the judge ordered that he be sent to a mental hospital for assessment. And they so deemed they he was perfectly Ooh, sane. How convenient. Okay, so people have really died trying to do this. There's some tweaking that means we're going to have to be a little explicit more explicit Nozorochi. So over at Area 51 HQ, the military can see that Facebook numbers have reached one million. I want another one real quick. I want to see, is there a picture of that bomb that he made? He said it was a device similar to an oxygen tank and appeared to be a fire extinguisher with wiring wrapped around it and a wooden platform which looked similar to a possible explosive device. Also, they really speed ran the repair on that fence. It said it only took them a couple hours to repair that huge fence. And it doesn't take a genius to calculate that even if just 1% of them show up, that's... Wait a minute. Run those numbers. This many people. In a crowd that big, there's bound to be at least a few who'll do something stupid. In fact, the military took it so serial that they even went over the nuances of Naruto running. This is a real slide, by the way, and it required a real demonstration. Let me wait, let me look at this slide. This is a real the act of running like Japanese anime character Naruto Uzumaki in which a person runs very fast with their torso forward and arms back. You know, it's something almost like endearing about this that they take something like Naruto running this seriously. It's like, okay, I mean, if they're gonna take something like this seriously, surely they wouldn't let something like actually serious slip through the cracks, right? The prevailing explanation is that this was something close to an assignment slash homework exercise for the officers. They didn't really care. Oh, by the way, and it required a real demonstration, of course. Now, some undercover operative then took a photo of that brief and they uploaded it to Reddit. They intend to use our <laughs> tactics against us. So Matthew goes back to his mind palace. Thing, thing, thing. Thanks the resub uh, anal. Let's not keep saying it's a raid. Instead, let's do a music mm. festival. This would give Matthew an alibi and throw authorities off the scent. I'm willing to music festival. For the government, let's do this. All right, Reddit, here it is. Alien Stock 2019. The official Didn't only EDM like 16 party, people show up? Hosted by Matthew Roberts. Set to take place in Rachel, Nevada, a town that just so happens to neighbor Area 51. It has 50 total residents <laughs> and practically no infrastructure. Perfect. Yeah, nice try, fellas, said the military. And the captains and the generals all started planning their own EDM party. Oh! Three groups in particular. Introducing Group E, the Excellent. Universal Excellent. State Police. Police have their work cut out for them because, owing to this party, they think there could be upwards of 50,000 people descending upon the little town of Rachel. 
Lincoln County commissioners trying to tackle the tough task of preparing oh my for God. of people. Bro, look at tackle the Sheriff Hulk Hogan over here. Man, that looks like the sheriff of a 50 resident town. Good God. Man's out here ready to catch Bugs Bunny. That many people are going to stress the community to the point that it, it just... It, it'll, it'll die. We can't cope with it. This is some of the most exciting stuff that I've ever gotten to work on. And I'm... Hold on, Mark. Group D. Is it Fitz, Barry, and I'm gonna Mario? I'm going to shoot somebody. So the FBI agents that showed up, they showed up at 10 a.m., they contacted my mom and you're like, so she texted me, she's like, FBI's here, answer your phone. So I, I was kind of scared at this point, but. This report from the Nevada Department of Public Safety was released last year and it features some very interesting details. For example, they caught a group of YouTubers trying to plant a tracker on the bus that goes to and from the base. Oh! We're gonna pull an epic prank. Highly illegal. And you may not be the base. Did I read that whole thing? Holy, God damn. They really went all in trying to plant a tracker on the bus that goes to and from the base. Turns out, they have automated weapons. Not I did know that, actually. Weapons. Automated, whatever that is. No, instead, they think there's potential that real terrorists will, you know, do the thing or a thing. So, counterterrorism was given a budget to sweep for chemical, biological, radiological, and explosive material. Although, Jesus Christ. And there's just one last group getting involved as well. The mm, corporate press. Disinformation agents in the mainstream media were getting involved. They immediately started warning people not to raid. Use of lethal force authorized. Spouting contempt for the stormers. What started as a joke? God, there's a, a multiverse out there where people yeah, really did joke. storm it. The and and they all died. Astroturfing campaigns by late night haha -ha men number one through seven. It's much more likely they'll see them tasers. Ha ha ha, laugh it all up. It's just a big joke. Who say they're interested? We'll make you take us serious. Let the training begin that's probably what it was and speaking of that i think it's time for my workout and so the raiders began training <laughs> we train for area 51 so let's go sandwich they began pushing their body go make it happen pushing Fuck. their will they're gonna be bulletproof pushing their spirits Pushing their minds. <laughs> what the is that? <laughs> What's the source video on that? I want to see that work out. Patience to the limit. Who wants to call me to kick some alien butt? In September, join me. We out. And that's what fitness will be like in the metaverse. This is amazing. As we Holy. See on the day of the raid. This may be internet historian's best work yet. And that puts us on par with the world's largest standing Hey, appreciate army. the generosity, zombie hunter. So Thanks for five gifts, man. these troops will need a battle strategy. Lay it on us. From r slash memes, intel was being filtered down to the troops. Groups such as the Minecraft YouTubers, <laughs> the Normans, <laughs> the Weeds, Facebook moms, the Tiles, the Chads, the Crack Kids. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? Florida man. Mm -hmm. the Australians, the gay Reddit mods. Okay, this thread is locked. And the North Korean defectors. They all have their role to play. So, Godzilla comes in from the east while the Australians make a distraction that allows the minion cosplayers to breach from the south. Of course, these very serious strategies would have to be disguised as memes so that they could be spread across YouTube, Reddit, Genius. and TikTok without the threat of being... <laughs> Although, not everyone was as tech-savvy. Authorities managed to nab one of the main cartographers, and they pressured him into- Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. I thought it was completely illegal to take any kind of photography of, like, anything relating to Area 51. Like, isn't on Google Earth, if you go over Area 51, it just blanked out? Right? Because I remember there was a story about a guy who tried to fly a drone over Area 51, and they just shot that down, like, ASAP. No, so that one's not true with the Google Earth thing? Hold on, let me see. I'm actually just gonna look it up myself. I don't know why I asked chat when I could just e easily Google it. Let's just see if it's on Google Earth, and I can immediately just see if that's true or not. No, it's not Google Earth. Or maybe this is illegal, what I'm looking at. 
the Area 51 agents are right now just teleporting over to my, like, driveway. So it might just be illegal to, like, fly a drone over it or something. Because I... I... I guess I could be wrong, but I distinctly remember a story about a guy who flew his expensive drone over Area 51, got it shot down, and he was whining about it. This could be the last drone footage of Area 51 you'll see. What the is this? Dutchman arrested for trespassing near Area 51 with drone camera equipment. Looking for aliens. It's a restricted airspace. Okay, so, so then that is true, right? Yeah, oh, here it is. Here, here's the one. Drone flying over Area 51 got shot down immediately. This was in early 2019. And I guess that thing about it just being blanked out on Google Earth is just an outright lie. Just a, a tall tale. Anything near a military base is restricted airspace. Really? Like, every single one of them? I guess Area 51 is the only one that people try and fly drones over, though, to be fair. So I guess I wouldn't really hear about that in other air, uh, military bases. Because most people aren't just trying to fly a drone over it. In satire. And there was some kinky. Just completely rooted in satire. And no one should raid. This is just completely a joke. And completely just a joke. Mission <clears throat> counting sheeple complete. You can take him out. No. Okay, so remember how we're not raiding anymore and it's just a music festival? Wink, 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 wink. Well, bad news. Okay, so it sounds like you maybe are looking at changing venues. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> it's all up Damn, he became a celebrity for a minute. There's a lot of challenges, so. <laughs> but it's two weeks away, so. Yeah. <laughs> He's kind of got to, like, uh, figure it out, I guess, somewhat soon, right? Yeah, it's all kind of falling apart. See, Matthew had organized alien stock with a few other people, but his main business partner was Connie West. Hey, Connie. It planned me. But Matthew is the headliner. His name is attached to everything. And he's starting to get worried about a fire festival type situation in the desert. Be a fire fest 2.0. He wanted to make sure there's plenty of water, food, mm -hmm. security, Stop. insurance, etc. Et cetera, et cetera. And here, deals and communication start to break down. Eventually, there's a lawsuit and it's kind of boring. Things that they were supposed to pay for, I'm stuck paying for. Who cares? We're going to skip it. But the TLDR is that they had a disagreement and Connie said, to prove to you what I spent. You didn't sign a contract with me to begin with. So guess what? I don't need to prove to you a thing. And Matthew said... Wow. Good business partner. Matthew then took $70,000 worth of sponsorship money and declared alien stock in Rachel. Did I say $70,000 worth of... Captain unjustly retained the $70,000 70, wired by Pornhub for their personal benefit, the lawsuit, added, er, lawsuit said. $70,000 wired by Pornhub. Jesus Christ. But then, at the same time, Bud Light walks in. It's the Bud Light. are <laughs> saved. They say, hey, why not do it here? In the Vegas. It has plenty of lighting, indoor plumbing. It has everything. Matthew said yes. And then using the website for Alien Stock, he told everyone to not go to Rachel and instead to go to Vegas. Welcome why were people still Alien following Stock, this? Las Vegas. If you're not raiding Sponsored Area 51, why even bother? And also Pornhub, but it's a long story. Connie was left to pick up the pieces. However, she would not be discouraged so easily. She decided to press on. It's going to be a great party. No matter what, it's going to be a great party. She had to take full control of the event in Rachel, dipping into her savings and even mortgaging oh. her home. I'm working out of my own pocket. I think this is a Why? liability. I'm out. So is it clear what's going on? Why? It's worth doing a very fast recap because there's an event in Rachel that's been declared cancelled but also not cancelled. Also, I forgot to mention there's an event in Hiko that isn't cancelled but it will be on the second day. There's also that third festival in Las Vegas which has the former promoter of the first one and they both share the same damn name. And none of this has anything to do with the actual raid on Area 51 which is here which has several gated entrances by the way and none of them have been miles. the official gathering point. Miles from the entrance to the yeah, base. Pretty much everyone was. It's a goddamn mess. Oh, so did it's his actually go well? To the weekend of the raid. For better or worse, Rachel is about to open its doors Orthodox. to the millennials. Hell yeah! Alien Encore now has come to an abrupt halt. Don't let the aliens get you, kid. Man, this place looks awesome. Do you believe in aliens? I don't. I don't. Run! Get out of here! Oh, you know, I want to hear about the alien liberal agenda. They could have some good talking points. We don't know. To protect my mind from interference. We have a wanderer. Don't let me leave, Murph! It could be anything stuck. 
but it's alien. This is a lot more people than I thought. Over your head like that. I know. And the first ones are supposed to be always, you know, the best ones. Paranormal lawyer, PhD level field investigator. Stuff in downtown Las Vegas. Did they change the name, or is it still Alien Stock? I think I'm on my highest high I've ever been in my life. Look at it. And, and we are taking a look kind of the area here. You wow. Work in a very short period of time. That is incredible. Here, the medical's here. The food is here. And most importantly, Porta Potty Hall of Fame. Toilets are here. Let's go. Yeah, that was pretty good. I just, I just went through a breakup, guys. Well, it wasn't <laughs> quite the event that they had hoped for, but they did do a commendable oh, job yeah. acting retarded for the news. This is the most fun I've ever had in my life. You think of yourself as a hero? I, I do. Here for scientific reasons. This is the this is like five gift subs in Orthodox. That's ever happened. Tier one trip and tier one Vic. Give some mana. Don't let's forget. Hiko. Or the Heiko. No one knows how to pronounce it. This event was being hosted by George Harris of the Alien Research Center. The owner of the center is Las Vegas businessman George Harris, creator of Alien Tequila. You want to have fun. I was told there's a lot of people coming. Uh, well, right now things are kind of slow at the Heiko event here, so that's kind of a What are you talking about? I saw Heiko three living human beings for a minute. 1,000 and 20,000 attendees. It's quite a range. Maybe. 50 people here clapping some alien cheeks. Yeah, but no cheeks are clapped. Yeah, where's at the cheeks? None. Where's Zero the cheeks? cheeks? This that is, is like a good question. The first of a big thing. Ooh, they made a Tim Gift Subs taco. Fuck awesome. yeah, man. Thank you. It seems as though the majority of the attendees were actually the press. One lady believed that her parents is actually alien. So, after the first night, they decided to cut their losses and cancel the whole event. You know, the oh, producers man. of the show, it's very, very, very expensive. Because. Basically, all of the attendees were stolen by... Oh, wait, this actually popped off. We were going to go out to uh, Rachel, and then we decided that we didn't want to get stuck in the desert. Uh, as much as I like Mad Max, I don't want to live it. The Las Vegas Alien Stock, sponsored by Bud Light, was a smash hit. They've got carnival rides, photo ops... Wait, oh, goddamn! And even a Destroy all humans was there too? Running. Who could have predicted this? You make a post at 2 a.m. with on a page that has 62 likes, and now you have thousands of people that are ready to come out to your show. It's I had no idea it was actually amazing. successful. Good for him, I guess. They're adding more guards, upping the security, and enforcing a no-fly zone across the county. They were even infiltrating raider groups. You could be standing next to an officer and not even know it. There was a like really undercover presence here. And they were giving stern warnings from the PR. You said blue they posted this tweet. The bits wasp, The last thing millennials will see if they attempt to raid Area 51 today. Sorry to disappoint you, Yugi. Huh? You triggered my trap card! Millennials immediately seized upon the tweet, doing what they do best by pretending to be offended, successfully having the tweet taken down, Oof. and forcing a public apology. I'm retarded. Alright, this video is getting very long. Let's hurry up to the main event. The Raid. Hey, are you coming? Yeah. I had no idea that the people actually attended that Las Vegas event. That's amazing. That's kind of just like a happy ending in my book, to be honest. All this is just gravy now. Some dessert. Production on this is wild. <laughs> this is better animation than One Punch Man season two so far. God damn! 
surely internet historian had help with this part. Christopher Nolan, maybe? This is better than Morbius. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is a lot better than Morbius. Holy. Smoking these meats. Good for you. Exit tier one, Aizen. Jesus Christ! This is bigger than the Avengers. I feel like I just got an entire movie's worth of inter entertainment. This whole scene has just been amazing. I hope MAPPA animates this. They don't need to. This is already top notch. That can't be where it ends. Oh, thank God. A hero. Is it gonna be Bob Lazar and Joe Rogan? That sounds like Bob Lazar. I see. It's like when Naruto gives all the other ninja his sage mode. Yeah, this is where the alien cheeks clapping happens, I'm sure. Thank you for saving us. <laughs> we are so grateful and horny. And yes, we wish to be your big titty goth alien GFs. And you won't be a virgin Reddit browser anymore. Oh, the good ending. I wouldn't tr quite like that. It was true pretty ending. close to something like that. Although, I guess you could say that only a small group showed up to the main gates themselves. Where are the million people? Of Aww. over two million people? In total, only about 200, actually. Oh, that's a lot more than I thought. But it's not about the quantity. It's the quality that counts. Nice outfit. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now throw them over! <laughs> People mostly behaved themselves. I mean, I think it's awesome you guys are you guys are following the laws, following directions, so... But they weren't what the fuck is awesome about that? They're just standing there. Get some of the Area 51 soil. Top secret rock. Top secret rock. <laughs> you can have it. It's from Area 51. Thank you. Okay. Also present at the raid were a few YouTubers. So I came here to get myself an alien as a pet. We're here to rescue the aliens! Let's 
It's like it's like Halloween, but we're just annoying people. Are you going to be some race boss rep in the prime, Daryl? You, you watch anime? Yeah, so you got the rebellious youth, and then you got people trying to.